Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back, Beaker here, doing another Trophy Push episode today, and I got a story to tell you guys. So you can see now, I'm at 4,057 trophies, but just 24 hours ago, I was at 4,100, doing really good, 4,100 exactly, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of that. So, once I got there, I was thinking, hey, I might as well put my town hall inside. Recently, I had talked to Ruthless Barbarian, fellow YouTuber and friend, and he was saying, over 4,000, you can pretty much put your town hall inside because everybody's going to try to two-star you anyway. So I thought, okay, I'll try that out. Look at the difference, guys. Some of you may not understand why I have my town hall outside, but this is why. So this might be a coincidence. I can't say it's not, but look at the top two defenses. These are after my town hall is inside. Look at the offers. We've got 30 trophy offer here and like a 45 trophy offer right there in the second one now the ones before here were all when i had my town hall outside people that are attacking me they're well above me but the offers are very small even this one star seven trophy that's i can handle that you know um and some of these are really small you know this two star for two trophies now what i'm thinking is these people, they're searching all the time. When you're at 4,500 trophies, you're just searching endlessly, and you're not finding many bases. But if you find one with an outside town hall, you're going to attack it. You might go on and try to two-star it as well, but you're going to attack it. But what if I had my town hall inside? Maybe that guy right there would have never attacked me. And the next guy who came along might have been below me, and he might have attacked me for 30 trophies. Okay? That's where I'm at, guys. I'm thinking Town Hall outside might be the best strategy until I'm, you know, way higher. I mean, at a certain point, it's not going to matter anymore because everybody's going to be below me. Uh, most everybody. But right now, there's still a lot of people above me. So I'm going to try to keep my Town Hall outside and try to get those small trophy losses because those two were like 50 trophies and they set me back a lot so today we're going to try to get back up to 4100 i'm going to show you guys some of those defenses we're going to show some attacks and then we're going to do a live attack so first let's look at which one do you guys want to watch um they both look pretty good let's watch i guess we'll watch the, the bigger one here so here we go town hall inside as you can see um i was just sort of playing around with the uh you know, the placement of the Archer Queen, I don't really like this placement, honestly. Um, I don't like having her in the core either. It seems if she's in the core, she drags in everybody into the core, okay? And, you know, that's expected. We know that's going to happen. Um, but if she's out front here, somebody can always just attack on that side and take her out really quickly. So I'm not really sure where the Archer Queen should go. Uh, the only thing I was thinking, if I put some Teslas right here by the Archer Queen, uh, you know, that might slow people down a little bit <laughs> but uh didn't seem to do too much he's seeming to get right through those uh, everything in his way really now he's almost at the town hall kind of trying to deal with the clan castle here looks like he didn't uh lightning the witch i think he missed it or something so in this case i'll be honest if that was me i would have lost i don't know why but i have the worst luck when it comes to you know clan castle troops if i don't kill the clan castle and it's sitting there fighting me like that I feel like I lose every time, but this guy was able to get nice luck there, able to secure the easy two-star. Looks like, he, you know, this this wasn't hard for him, it, it would appear. So, I, mean, I did make some changes to my base. Um, you'll notice when I go back to the base, or maybe you saw earlier, the corners here were a little too easy, okay? A little too easy to get into this corner because it's a, it's a point. It sticks out like that. So, we, we put the points in a little bit, and I put a wizard tower covering there. So it's hard to get wall breakers in there. What I want to happen is um, make sure, well, I, I kind of want to force people to use a jump spell on the corner. And then that's one less, less spell they have. So we'll see. We'll see if that works. Um, look at that, guys. That's devastating. This guy was way below me and he two-starred me. And I lost 29 trophies. Uh, when I logged on, I was like, wait, did I get attacked twice? What happened? 29 trophies. So, you know, you take the loss and you move on. So, uh, let's look at an attack I did recently. Should be one right here. Well, let's just look at this most recent one. Um, looks like Centrum. Uh, they're a clan I've definitely heard of. They're, um, I believe, you know, I probably have seen them around the Supercell forums. If you guys don't ever go there, check it out. It's a great place to find great clans. So, we're going to make 
most of our entry points here with wall breakers notice i have two jump spells so we're going to use those in the middle but these side entry points those are key we're going to put one golem on each side with a few wizards and that's just going to kind of clear the edges and then our middle troops our middle troops are going to be two golems a pekka and the heroes they're going to go right into the middle and you know that's easy if you can set up like this you're gonna win the raid usually i mean this is you know the easiest way to set up a raid and this is what i was talking about guys when i said my base had weak corners when a, when a base comes out like that on the corner it's real easy to make an entry point i mean let's be honest i just put one barb and a few wall breakers and i could easily get in there but if this guy had had his wizard tower right there on the corner maybe it would have been harder i don't know uh, waited on the rage spell until we got into the core here. I've been making sure I do that recently because giant bombs. If you put a, a rage spell down too early, you guys may already know this trick, but if you put a rage spell down too early, everybody's going to hit that bomb. Boom, dead. So put it down later. Um, here, we're in the core. We're going to throw down a few minions around the base on some key buildings like uh, over here. Just trying to get some extra percentage. Looks like the Archer Queen is barely going to be able to get the Town Hall. Boom easy done so i've also been bringing tons of archers and tons of minions lately i do not want to lose a star you know i don't want to get any one stars if i can help it so here you know we were a few buildings short but we had so many minions so many archers we were definitely coming home with the second star so that's gonna be it guys uh props to this guy yeah really really nice base i wish he had had his heroes awake because uh he did not um, I know how it is though. You can't always have your heroes, you know. Gemming your heroes awake is extremely expensive and not everybody can do it. I've gone on defense a lot of times without my heroes. Um, but I just have my town all outside, so, you know, not too bad. So, let's go back to base and try to do a live raid, guys. We've got an army ready, um, right? Yeah, it looks like we've got everything, so let's go, guys. I don't know two trophies we can't really find anything right now so i'm thinking we'll just try something like this i mean you know it's not ideal but i really can't find anything right now and sometimes that happens guys you just can't find anything for half an hour or even more so right now we'll just take this um should be a pretty simple hopefully two star so let's go in and get our one trophy <laughs> oh man so let's try to make uh an entry point up top here there we go and uh hmm. the other one i think i'll just get in with the jumps I'll, I'll just use my jump spells so let's put one golem up here and we'll put about five six wizards behind and then here come the jumps Where's my wizards? All right, here we go. Get in there, buddies. All right, we're going to save the jump spell. I mean, the rage spell until it's probably a bomb right here and it's probably about to go off. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> rage spells, they oh, I mean, yeah, rage spells always make your troops fly right into a, uh, a bomb. That just always seems to happen to me. So, uh, come on, Arch Queen. Get in there. Looks like there's an opening to the town hall right now. Hopefully, she gets in there and takes it. Looks like she is. Stepping right up to it. Okay, boom. So, pretty soon, we're going to use the Arch Queen ability. And hopefully, there is enough buildings that we can snipe to pick up the second star. Even if we can't, you know, this was a pretty simple raid. Uh, I think it's one trophy either way, now that I think about it. <laughs> so, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um... Oh, man. It's a bummer we couldn't find anything more exciting, but uh, sometimes, like I was saying, that's what happens, guys. Uh, you can't always find a truly good raid. So, this is why I bring, uh, I've been bringing tons of archers, tons of minions for occasions like this. I think I need, like, two buildings right now, but, you know, if I didn't have any cleanup troops, I couldn't get them. But, since I do, I have plenty, and sometimes... You know, it takes a few tries. You're going to want to try this building. Okay, can I get this building? Or, you know, one down here. Can I get that one? Uh, you, you really got to experiment to see which building you can snipe. 
So what do we got? Um, what's the weakest building around here? Probably one of these uh, builder's huts right here. So let's break in. Even though there's a Tesla shooting at us. Uh, looks like we got it just fine. Even saved four wall breakers. Look at that. So 50% on a two trophy base is going to get us one trophy <laughs> this is what it's like man you normally you don't take these bases but uh since i was doing a video i had to take something but yeah this is what you see this is what you see over and over and over i probably skipped i don't know how many i skipped but i skipped a lot of bases like this and it went on for about half an hour and i just wanted to take something so that's the trophy pushing life guys sometimes you can't find anything um certain times of the day seem to be better uh, i haven't really decided what i think is best yet but uh, i'll let you guys know when i know uh, so that's going to be it for today. We're not going to get quite back up to 4,100 yet today, but we will work on it. I'll work on it later today, and hopefully we'll be there by the next video. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.